Even with rat proof in the top of it, it will run. It's a little bit. It's been violated pretty bad. I'm curious, man. This is our classic JJ welcome. Oh. So, well, there's an injector in it. They left us two injectors. Hmm. No valve covers. I'm gonna put a bar on this thing and see if it'll roll over. I'm kind of curious. We gotta say it loud and. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, back here in Springfield, ran up to help Joe, got to grab a couple motors and do some other things, and I got to thinking, and you guys should enjoy this, but quite frankly, we never got to go back and take a look at that, uh, take a look at our, our donor, hood donor. This is our classic JJ welcome. Oh. It's got the walking beams. So it looks like this is an old dump truck. Uh, and as you can see, somebody sleeved the frame. I thought that was because they broke it, but I've looked all over. I think it's just because they had a dump box on it and they wanted to make the frame stiffer. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's climb up and get a look at this guy. Oh, so. Actually, be honest with you, <laughs> the cab on this dude is in pretty good shape. The seat is not bolted to the floor. That's an interesting thing to remember. It's only got, uh, it's got 43,000 factory miles on it. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. So, well, there's an injector in it. You know, the starter's still on this. Just saying. If we threw some batteries on it, drop some injectors in it, I don't see any reason why it don't go. We have done more stupid things, huh? Why not? Let's have a little fun with it. Here, let me go around the other side, get you guys a look at the rest of the motor. Oh, by the way, so since several people asked why we needed a new hood, uh, as you can see, somebody kissed the back of that one. Uh, okay, uh, so you can see this side of the motor, they got that all apart too. What's that? Uh, try not to. My plan is not to hurt myself till later today. Oh. Let's, uh, let's see what we got going here. Really, looks kind of good. 
gooey. See, it's the oil's got a little bit of a like a gray tint to it. Hey, Joe. You guys see that? Like it's. Yeah, I'm gonna dip this up again. So there's kind of a definitive line. They left us two injectors. Hmm. No valve covers. So I guess the question becomes, will it start? I'm gonna put a bar on this thing and see if it'll roll over. I'm kind of curious. If we drop some injectors in this thing, I wonder if this mic could go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hmm. well, let's get a look at this thing, huh? I can tell you the first problem with this truck. And that's one I hate. Daggum series parallel. Maybe we can't just throw some batteries on it, huh? Where does that prick go off to? Because I'm filming a little bit weird is because, as you guys can see, I mean, what's commonly referred to as an unsafe place. Uh, but I'm kind of balancing on the edge of this trailer, so I'm trying to be really careful for one hand for the camera and, and one, hand, one hand for the truck. Uh, but nobody... Nobody wants to get hurt here, that's for sure. See these lifters coming up? We'll go all the way around? Sure. Joe, you have crazy faith in two strokes, I'll tell you. Not a problem. They work. It's smooth. I mean, there's no injectors in it, but it's smooth all the way around. Now there's one injector that still works there, so... There's one on the other side, too. Yeah. So we can uh, rip all that junk out of there and start over. Uh-oh, that one's seized up. Yeah, it's hung up. I got a set of 90s we can put in it. It's a lot of injector for this, ain't it? Well, that, that motor in that yarder down there has got 80s in it. It doesn't smoke at all. So. <clears throat> all right. That saved me some agony. Uh, this, these bridges are on here. Oh, they stole the fuel stands out of the bed. Oh, I got all these bridges. We're going to have to put a little salve on some of that. These go on there, and they're some rusted in order to work. Even with rat proof in the top of it, it will run. It's a little bit. It's been violated pretty bad. <laughs> I'm curious, man. Start. 
Now we're looking at something. The injector's been pulled out of it. It's been sitting open to the weather. Can we really just drop injectors, a couple parts in it, crank it off? I mean, will it still go? So I thought it was kind of an interesting thing to do. Joe was awesome enough to help. And uh, more to the point, we get to cannibalize one of his motors to make it happen. Uh, so that's all we know about that. That this had water in it, just all this uh, rust on a the rocker. They should be shiny. Okay, but can't that just come from being exposed to the elements? The, the pattern where it's on the top of the rockers, right okay, the center of the rocker back to the push rod. Yep, that's water in the oil. Okay, interesting. All right, and you think this will run? <laughs> it's a day drink. Well, Joe's universal answer. It'll run until it don't. Yeah, until it stops. Until it stops. And then you can probably get it to run again one more time. It's bet. Okay. I'll bet on it before I'll bet on any of my ex wives. <laughs> Joe said he'll bet on it before he bets on any of his ex wives. I never met his ex wives. I probably should. We should have a lunch date with your ex-wives, Joe. Hey guys, just uh, actually before we get started, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of started a monologue before here. The the whole purpose of this really is, I think a lot of times for Will it starts. Like I said, people go out, they throw batteries on something, they check the oil, start cranking it over, pound a can of ether in it. Um, this is clearly something that was taken out of service for some reason. We got the motor to roll over. We're putting some crazy... What are we putting in it, Joe? 145s? No, they're 90s. Okay, we're putting some 90s in it, which are still pretty aggressive injectors. Um, this is not the approved method for putting a motor together like this. We are gunning this together quick. We're going to see if it starts. Uh, get a quick diagnosis on the motor. We are not putting motor in it. Uh, not putting water in it. But, so just... Just FYI, this is uh, for demonstration purposes only and to get a quick uh, diagnosis on this motor. So, um, like I said, just uh, take it for what it is. Let's not, uh, let's, not, let's not yell too bad about putting motors together with guns, okay? All right, all right. Actually, Joe just corrected my last statement and said I should get blunt. Uh, don't do it this way. This is a really not a good way to do it. It's for demonstration purposes only. Joe used different words, but I need sponsors, so I can't quite do that the same way. <laughs> so, hey guys, what we're doing here, just to kind of show you is we're reaming these injector tubes out just because- They haven't been before. They haven't been? No, they never did it last time. Hey Joe, been. you want to give us a quick, uh, why do you ream injector tubes lesson? Because the motor lasts about twice as long when you do that. Because the injectors kind of squirt where they're supposed to instead of wherever they end up at. You can seize them up doing that, but it makes the rings, the rings don't last very good when they do that to them. So they're, uh, it's, so if you're putting motors together and you want to see a regular customer, you just don't do your job right. <laughs> The other side's the other way around. Okay. You got it? Okay. This, all that should stay. This will slip out. We're missing a bunch of screws for this, so we'll just put another one in. It's not straight in the hole. I don't know if you guys can see that. I guess you can see it okay. But, yeah. So that thing was never cut when the original injector was put in there. I don't know that this uh, this particular one is a profit-seeking endeavor. There's one here. 
gets hung up a little bit. Well, I got them reamed. They are not pretty by any means, but they're way better than they were. So, oh, she's gonna get some big injectors. You go and get some big ones. <laughs> injectors, big injectors. Keep your arms out of the gutter, people. Uh huh. Yeah. Of course, there's two of these that don't want to come up. There's one. I got one stuck on here. <laughs> take a wild guess about how all this is going to work. Ah, one down. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oops, I got another one. I think all mine are moving pretty liberally. Well, a Dude. couple of them, a couple of them are pretty rusty up in here. I'll give you some of this 40 weight. Yeah. That'll make that go better. <laughs> well, I'm sure they got dirt in them. I got one that's stuck solid here. That's pretty good there. Ow. I wish my arm had quit hurting. We'll see my sister. Eh. I think she's going to tell me a thing I already know. Stop it. So where'd you hide the bolt, the bar, the part bin? Is it, it is underneath my left foot. Oh, see you're holding out on me. I am. Wait a minute, why am I holding out on you? Alright, not a weird thing to protest, but <sighs> there's rat poop in the motor. That ain't good. Wouldn't be the first time, Joe. <laughs> well. Oh. Jesus. This guy was apparently serious about having this injector in there, I'll tell you that. I wonder where I got these injectors. All right. Uh, I'm gonna need something with a little more torque on it or I'm afraid I'm gonna bend your speed handle. I'm sure this will get it loose. Oh. That will take it right out. <laughs> Whoever put that on there should be beat. Allowed to work on it. Yeah, and the part for this is right up here on it. Hold on quick, let me get the rat poop out of the injector hole. It's out. They're 60s. It's not even hung up. Now quit doing that. Get a big hammer, hit it once and be done. It'll be okay. I've been pecking, apparently. No pecking. No pecking. stands in and yeah if it stands in I'm gonna take this off right now we've got a chance to so why are you taking that off because you gotta have it to set the rack in it oh you gotta set the rack in it I do I do I do see there's clean oil in there there's clean oil coming out of the governor of course it's been in there a month but see three threads means it'll turn about 23 really yeah
this thing got, I don't know. I think it just got left in the woods and parked or something. Somebody, uh, it got water and oil and they just walked away from it after they stole it. Yeah, these holes are so rusty in here. Like, I get maybe a half a turn on this thing. <laughs> I think we're close, but no, no prize or surprises. Other than something going sideways. I never doubt the ability of this to go wrong. That's why I put that ladder there. For one of us, probably me. Does something mighty bad. <laughs> like falls down and dies. Oh, he... So, if you're unsure about torque, here you go. Oh, we'll save it for this side. Well, I wouldn't say that I'm completely unsure about torque. I don't want to hurt nothing. <laughs> I'm just... Options are good. Providing options. Uh -oh. My name is Joe. I'm in the options business. What's the matter? Me? I said, my name is Joe. I'm in the options business. Uh, okay. Your option is expensive. And then really expensive. And then really expensive. You opted out of really expensive before, leaving you with less options now. So. Oh, you found all the crabs already. I was in the Marine Corps, Joe. <laughs> We're known for finding crabs. There's a whole test session on that. There is, actually. You gotta watch a video. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, what they call that thought provoking? <laughs> I don't know if it was thought provoking, but it was something. There we go. Uh oh. You suck. The most fun. Yeah. All right, next. Um, so do you back them off until? Well, this is a little different than normal. So you, you back both of them off till the pins are loose. And then you bring the first one up where you want it adjusted, over there. And then you bring this one up to match it. Just tell there's some tensions on the pins? Yeah. Oh, is that why I always see you touching that pin with your finger, just kind of floating it? Yeah. So this is why you got to be a two-stroke Detroit is... diesel artist. It does? Because all this stuff is about feel. Most people, like guys that work on other stuff they don't have to have feel they just bolt stuff on and when you're bolting stuff on it it doesn't matter then you can be plus or minus a foot or a pound it doesn't matter but when you hear one of these that runs really well it's someone that knew how to do this and it's important because it they get all eight cylinders pulling or eight, all 12 it's just it makes a really nice motor out of it Automatic suction line. Uh huh? 
so. We got batteries, fuel, tools, tools to make a fuel line. We are in danger of being in danger of starting or creating a hot mess or something. When he was working up on the mountain. Well, see, if it comes out in straight water, it looks like Andrew. I have yet to do a test on something that's got oil in it. Uh -oh. well, aside from having a pan smashed, it doesn't seem to be too haywire. So I'm on the downhill side. Is that a dumb move or what? Probably, yeah. Uh, his legs are all pasty and out there, and they say, uh, <laughs> are them your legs or are you riding an ostrich? Well, that's green. Uh oh. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you want me to get you a pan? Wow, it's. We need a bucket of some sort. Man, you got a pretty steady flow of antifreeze coming between your fingers. Well, that's a good sign. That can go away. Oh, my goodness. Well, the sweet green stuff was on the bottom. Yeah, but that don't look like oil. All right. It looks like that's, mud. That's what happened to it. it had a bad life experience. So I'm going to call that as no water at, hmm. this, at this point. There's no water in it? Well, there's nothing we can deal with. So if you got... Uh, Dude, have you ever seen... I've never seen something like that. That's... That's emulsification. Is that what that is? Tip it back over here and I'll throw it in the water. It's the consistency of Play-Doh. She's a fine machine. <laughs> Can it pump that stuff? Sure. That's what that bent wrench is for. Just loosening that up to check valve clearance? Well, I'm making some room here because uh, we have a whole bunch of different stuff that's never seen it each other. So, and now I'm ready for rotation. Right there. operations. That's legal. We're all good. Next. <laughs> We're all good? <laughs> Are we legal? I think we've surprised ourselves and got it all. See it? Watch when I pull on it. It's moving. Yep. Yep. That's the that's that's the one I got in my hand. Yeah, somebody left the heater on. Oh my gosh! This is hurricane of dust blowing out of there. <coughs> Ow! It's rat crap, like 20 years worth of rat crap. Go straight from the bucket there. Yeah, straight from the bucket. <laughs> this right here. So what we may do here. Tell you what, if we turn the bucket around, we might be able to just jam that right in the hole, don't you think? Well, I'm thinking if we just took the, took the lid off. Oh, and just shoot it right back here. It's good to have an alternate fuel system so you can put this junk up without having to stay tied to the truck. There we go. Bingo. Somebody's had to start it before. <laughs> I see that. So should we take that filter off and dump the water out of it? We can. It's almost dangerous. Oh, I've got a little bitty filter. Well, the only thing I was worried about is are we just making our job harder? Because Are we going to suck the water out of the bottom of this? No, we're not sucking. We're blowing into it. Okay, then I don't worry. Shouldn't worry anything, should it? Well, we'll see what comes out of the turn line. That's a good point. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's drained already. <laughs> oh man, the whole bottom of the filters. Yeah, 
You can take a picture of that for posterity. <laughs> well, uh, well, look at that. You got a little one? I think I might have one I, I got, got on the truck. I you got, got one? I got one. If not, I got one in the truck. How the heck? That's just the water sitting in there has rusted. Rusted in half. Rusted it pure in half. Or, or it froze and broke. <laughs> that, more, that looks more like frozen broke. I'm... So. This is pretty interesting, but. I'm usually a fan of like changing the oil, changing the filters. When Joe starts this stuff, he doesn't like to mess with that because he feels like you can, if it was running when it was parked, you kind of create a little time capsule right there. And the more you mess with that stuff, the more you run a risk of breaking lines, all kinds of other, I mean, obviously a whole bunch more is gonna be done to this motor. This is gonna be rebuilt probably, but uh, I kind of am adopting more his theory because it seems like every time I start farting with filters and lines and stuff, I create problems. This being the exception to the rule, but. Yeah, that's a, that's a leaker. I was just telling him Joe's theory is usually don't touch nothing. Well, we got past that. Ooh. Awesome. And that goes right in that hole right behind you. By hole, I'm assuming you mean bucket. Yep. I don't know what's coming out of there. It ain't diesel. You don't even want to know. <laughs> Well, it's rusty color something. You can tip it up, pour it in there and see what's in that. I'm curious, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's organic growth at a level you can't understand. Yeah, you know what it smells like? It smells like a lacquer. Yeah, that's that fine alcohol-powered diesel they have in these things now. Uh-oh, it's full. I heard something. That's, is that antifreeze? Uh, maybe it's fuel. Who knows? That's diesel. It's just a little it's weird. It's just weird old diesel. I gotta get it so it'll turn over. All right. Bring it back to life. Jill, you ready? Fire in the hole. You think we could hold it wide open for five minutes and it won't hurt it? Sure. Yeah. It doesn't care. Unless there's something bad wrong with it we don't know about. But see, it's awful quiet. It works pretty good. It's just like somebody rebuilt it and didn't do a very good job. Because it's probably got jiffle parts and it blew a head gasket and it dumped the water out of it. It's got an O-ring underneath the head there. One of them water O-rings is blown Leaking. out. No, it's blown out. Oh, really? Compression will blow on them and turn them inside out. Okay. Okay. It's got the wrong idle spring in it. It just popped right off and it sounded nice and quiet. Okay, ready? Ready.
that side's the one that's bad. Oh, the smoke blowing out of it, or? Yeah, the head gasket's out of that side. I'm gonna fire it back up again. See what the bumper is. Where's Andrew at? I'm right here. I'm gonna torch it off one more time. Check the oil pressure. Hey guys, let's see, I've been back to Seattle, I got chased out of here by the snow a week ago, now I'm back in Wisconsin again, living in the RV, hoping the ground dries up enough that we can get some work done. Uh, so I'm going to have the rest of the video about the, the swamp road and the rock crusher out. Uh, I just started working on this on the plane on the way out here. I'm sure you guys have been sitting and seeing in the news that COVID's really, really bad out here. So take care of yourselves, be safe, make smart decisions. Uh, we are kind of holed up in the RV. I am. Jill and the kids are back home uh, just trying to get work done. And um, that's that. I want to throw a special thank out to Hank at Hamiltonville Farms. Uh, they've been super cool to us. He's had some great advice for us. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, go check his channel out. Uh, other than that, man, thanks for everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed the film. This was a truck we bought for the hood. Uh, sort of crazy thing. Like, we just didn't... I, we just got to looking at the motor. It's been sitting out. No valve covers on. And Wenatchee, Washington, injectors ripped out of it, cannibalized for parts. And we're just... Joe just kind of had some core injectors and... Jake's off an old motor that was locked up and when we smacked him on there like well, what's the worst that could happen right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this don't forget the merch stay tuned we got a lot more cool stuff coming for you thanks